People ask me a lot of questions after I quit smoking and there were a few that uh, were very common so I decided to write them all down and answer them all and this is what this video is about. Why did you stop smoking? This is what people ask the most when it comes up that I stopped smoking a few years ago. Uh, they really want to know about the why and my why was my health on the one hand and um, that social part on the other hand. So if you're a smoker that you are almost not allowed anymore in any group, like smokers are the worst in the world and this is why you are not allowed to smoke anywhere anymore and I didn't like that. So on the one hand it was my health. I had serious back pain from coughing. I coughed like crazy probably because I smoked like a chimney. So there were times where I got out of bed like my Oma and she's 87. It took me a few minutes to like get my back back in place and it was just not very healthy for a 28 year old moving that way and that was all just because of the coughing. I mean I, I knew <laughs> that the coughing is related to the cigarettes but it didn't stop me from yeah there was one night where it was really painful the lower back and I don't know what I did when I coughed or how how I can hurt my back that much from coughing but it all disappeared after I stopped smoking so it was very bad on one night and that was the night when I smoked my last cigarette I got out of bed I think I don't I don't even remember I think I couldn't sleep or whatever or I thought it's not that late so let's have a good night cigarette and I wanted to get up and go upstairs in the only room where I smoked in the house and <laughs> it took so long it was it was like a bug on the on the back trying to like yeah so I smoked the last cigarette thinking that I should maybe think about stopping. Uh, so my reason for my why was because I just noticed that my body is trying to say something like, hey, stop that. Uh, but that other part that very, it wasn't like 50-50. Maybe my health was 30% worth for me, maybe 40. Maybe 37. It was more the you are not part of. So you, on the one hand, you wanted to be part of one group and be a smoker or become a smoker, and then finally you're a smoker, and you're not allowed. No, you're not allowed anywhere anymore. Like in at the airport with those glass booths, those cabins where, oh God, with the fan on the top and. It's all modern. You, you feel like a monkey in a suit. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I used them. I went there. I smoked cigarettes. and mm. Yeah, you don't feel good. As a, as a smoke. It, you, I took it personal. I really took it personal. That I cannot enjoy that cigarette that I love so much. After the food that was so good. In a restaurant that I really enjoyed. You have to go outside. And that really annoyed me. That already annoyed me before I noticed that I'm killing myself by smoking and then coughing and then back problems. So it was like 30% health, 70% you are not allowed in groups wherever you want anymore. I didn't like that that cigarette um, divided me from doing what I wanted to do, where I wanted to do it. Yeah. So that was my why. Yeah, so the hardest part for me was um, to find out, so that was the result after a few weeks. We found out, uh, my husband researched a lot online, like why does she react that way? <laughs> Is it normal that you react that way? What's up? Um, and we read a lot of
lot of books and went online and uh, got a lot of information and at the end it, it was pretty clear we found out that I'm something that I have never heard before I didn't know that term it's not very common here in Austrian German language uh, I, I don't think many people heard of that anyway uh, it, it came to the point where I said I am a highly sensitive person and I didn't know that before a highly sensitive person is it's not a it's not a condition it's just something that you are it's like if you have very blue eyes then you have very blue eyes so highly sensitive people um, we just notice and feel everything around us much much more intensive than not highly sensitive people like normal sensitive people it's not a mental illness or anything I'm or normal, as much as I can be normal. But because of that anyway, um, the feeling I experienced after, especially in the first 10 days after I quit smoking, was very overwhelming. It was, I cried so much. It was, it, it, it was like you, you opened a tap and it just didn't stop. It it just all came like bleh. <sighs> now I think that is a very good thing that happened because all of the bleh, it was in me. And every time I lit a cigarette, I just knocked it out a bit. You know, I always punched it a bit. I always kept it down, kept it down. And I mean, it has to go somewhere if it's in me. Well, that's a bit gross, but anyway, the very hardest thing for me was to experience all of these new emotions and reactions. I was not ready for that. I didn't know. I didn't know that that part would change with me. But truth is really, if you stop smoking, that's a big part of your life. That's a very huge part of your life. It's not just that you lie. 20 times a day a little stick you are if you're a smoker that is part of your personality and if you stop being a smoker you take that part away and then what are you that's what I experienced that was what I found out and um, it was very interesting it was really interesting to see what person I am if I don't have cigarettes anymore I didn't know that before I didn't expect that either If I miss the cigarettes uh, at the beginning, that's what many people ask me to. The cigarette itself, as the thing that it is, no, not at all. Because uh, it's not that great to always check if you have enough when you go out. Take that emergency pack with you, fill up your handbag with lighters, get a second lighter in case the first lighter breaks or somebody accidentally takes it. Um, no, I didn't miss that at all. I don't, I didn't miss, and of course now I don't miss it either, the making sure that you have enough over the weekend or when you go on vacation and you go to a place where cigarettes are very expensive or you just want to take them with you to make sure that you have enough. It is, it all comes to uh, the fact that you always have to check, do I have enough? Do I have what I need? Uh, is it is it enough if I only take half a pack or should I go and buy more? Do I have enough coins if the uh, shop is closed and I have to use the machine? All of these things that was just very stressful and I don't miss that at all. So the cigarette as it is to hold in my hand, no I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I can live without it very easy.